Hello, Plasir, Half Minute Hero 2. In the last part, we finished off the God 9, so now it's time to find out what's up with the Time Goddess. So we're here at the Temple of Time. We've come to rescue her. Yep, she's the Time Goddess. Something's not right. There you are, I finally found you. Okay, I've been stuck killing gods all by myself. You, I must warn you, an abnormal amount of time stream is converging. We're in danger. I advise we escape. And... ouch. Why do you look so dark? Oh! Laughter. And more of it. Okay, finally come to your senses. Couldn't possibly be in, like, a better mood. You're feeling so great that it makes you want to destroy the world. Somehow I don't think good moods do that. Okay, you'll destroy the world and collect a huge amount of time stream and money, too. Maybe, maybe jewels. Even worse than before. Perhaps God Nine have been using a song of destruction to absorb huge amounts of the world's time stream. I guess is that the balance of the world's time stream has failed, introducing irregularities into the goddess's being. Time goddess and her personality exist as a deification of the energy known as the time stream. The goddess is no longer the goddess from before. Now she's trying to destroy the world. Maybe the song can heal her. Um, uh, eh, voice. Okay, okay, having to do this and that by herself is a real pain. She's helped a lot of heroes while saving the world until now. Maybe she should work with evil lordish people who are trying to destroy the world this time. Time for a super goddess turn of events. So she's assembled children you see here. You use your powers to substantiate the wickedness that goes out of the world. You'll name them the Venus Seven. Another group with a number in its name. Okay, you can like use the Song of Destruction, go forth and bring the world to its knees, collect time stream and money. Best of luck. They aren't all actually purple, just in this scene for some reason. What are you doing? Thanks for everything to see you around, please go away. Laughter. And pal! We're blasted off to somewhere. Whoa! Okay. Yep, they thought they were a goner. But Yuja is apparently able to stop people from dying if they hit him. Okay, that if we got us going all dark on me without even asking. Okay, he's gonna regret blowing me away like that. Okay, until the Venus 7 are defeated, the world will risk being destroyed at any moment. So let's let's go. Let's go defeat those victory eleven fools. Okay, and uh, Ku has no idea why she can't sing anymore. Okay, sure, sure, it's nothing to worry about. Okay. And Yuja can sometimes say nice things. Okay. Okay, we're in tip-top shape, and Ku seems to be in good condition. May regain her ability to sing if she takes it easy for a bit. Okay, you're able to console at a rate of once per 30 seconds, as needed. Alright, let's, let's, let's figure out what's going on. I think I know what's going on. There's another set of bosses in this game. It's not that difficult. But also, it's... it's, 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 it's yep. It's the Sarah. World destruction is but a cherry on the top. It all begins now. The result of battle after battle. We shall fight in the Battle Coliseum. And you put up a sanctuary just to be safe. Okay. And if we beat her, she'll refrain from destroying the world. Like you're without a 30 second time on it. This is the Battle Coliseum's head office. Battle Coliseum qualifiers will end in 30 seconds. Okay, correction, it's the same as always. So, yeah, there's a sanctuary. Okay, and we, we won't be able to escape, but the sanctuary is here to keep us in, not to keep us out, so we won't need coup. Okay, Coliseum's all about battle. And so, cheer on you, Jeff, please. You'll explain the situation. There's equipment in the village, being a seven at the Coliseum. Gotta fight your way through the Coliseum. And there's a camp up there. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, participants are faced with troubles, be careful. Just a second. Oh, you're the one who crafts weapons. Nice to meet you. Hold on! You <laughs> think you can join us like that? Just be glad I'm on your side. These guys just now that she had a pretty nice weapon, right? 
you handle them, beat them up, we'll collect the weapons. And there's no benefit to Yuja, but having her around is beneficial, I guess. But my party was already full from using the time stone, so I don't know if she actually joined. Okay, you haven't seen your boy since he left for the Coliseum. Gotta, gotta find his boy. Oh. That enemy was right to me. That was, that was a bad plan. Oh. Keep it up. I kind of want to clear out those large monsters. Let's see. And okay, there is a statue. Let's do this heroically without any time resets. I think I just need to be in the Colosseum when time runs out. Oops. I uh, ran out of time. <laughs> but I don't know if I've ever seen that effect before. That was, that was pretty neat. Okay, now let's, let's do this again with less dying. Boom! Skipped! Alright, let's eliminate the large monster first. Because I don't want to be, like, stepping around it all the time. Also, didn't the goddess say I'd be able to get equipment at the village? I don't remember there being any equipment there. Yeah, there's, there's an herb. That's kind of like equipment, I guess. Oops. Alright. Oh, I need to talk to him before 30 seconds. Okay. You're accepting applicants for qualifiers. You've been accepted to qualifiers. Ladies and gentlemen, qualifiers will begin. Time to introduce participants. Yuja, the supernova of hope, versus his opponent. Burly Tiger! Oh, okay. You do have to actually win the match in the time limit. See you again in the semifinals. Semifinals lie ahead. Reception will close in 30 seconds. Do your best to strengthen yourself. Aren't you looking well? You're the president of Asura and Nerashko's fan club, so he's not going to let us win. You know, we got to throw the semifinal match because he captured someone from the village. Analyzing. Okay, the conversation had to do with fixing the next match. Try to do something before the semifinals to help you out by lifting the ban on rewinding time. Okay, I thought they were red to me for some reason. Oh, you've got equipment. Turtle power! Wait a minute, don't you have... Okay, there's a strange hole in the south. And there's a cave with strong monsters in the east. Oh, Francisca did make her way into my party. I just noticed. A crashing boom bang attack, except it said sonic boom attack, because we're not playing earthbound. Alright, now I can actually rewind time. Easy. Okay, there's a deep hole there. Oops. I forget where I actually go for this. But I'm apparently as strong as I'm gonna need to be. Indeed, a deep hole. Hmm. Maybe you are supposed to start the semifinals. Like, there's nowhere else to go, right?
We're up against. Oh, someone mysterious. Yashu. This isn't really the time or place, but Yashu thinks it's the perfect setting. Half playing around, and we're not playing around. Even though we're playing around, we give it our all. Okay, and Yashi doesn't look like he's having fun. Beep, beep, beep. The detective child's voice can hear it from there. Alright, now I think we can jump in. How do you get in? No choice but to defeat you myself, and how? Okay. Whoever asked you to do that? That voice! Did you come here to help me? What are you talking about? I didn't know you. Taking a prisoner without my permission, such a cowardly act away with you! You're huge, aren't you? Our next meeting will be in the Coliseums. Farewell! Alright. Apparently, the kid thinks Asura is the greatest. How do you get in here? <laughs> okay, this. I'm sure you will. Yep. Oh, we got a drill lance. Because we're the liberator. Eh, I'll rewind time just in case. My preparations are in order. Everything is blue to me. And I got the drill lance. Ladies and gentlemen, Battle Coliseum Finals. Supernova of Hope versus. The Queen! Asura! Okay. This may be the Battle Coliseum, but your foes have hardly put up a fight. Satisfy your thirst for battle, let's have fun together. Sounded interesting, so I thought I'd drop in, rooting for you. Beat you, Ja. Let us duel! You hold the mighty powers of Asura. Yep. Yeah. You have to fight, and it's still a big world, you have a long way to go, thanks. Guess I need to get stronger. Up to see you again in another field battle or something like that. Quest clear. That's what's important. Congratulations. Being a seven, all bark and no bite. Wait up a second. Huh? You're way too blunt. You should be more like, I wish you the best on the next continent. That'd be better. It's not one of my default functions, but I'll do my best. Our adventure is only beginning. Let's do our best on the next continent. Okay. Let's head to the next continent. Eh. Suddenly, Yashu. He's he's not all right. Is this the voice of the scary guy who fought against Uja? He sounds like he's suffering. Is he hurt? No, he's just sad about something. You, his wounds healing or something? The girl tagging along with them. You're a singer. What's the meaning of this? I've lost the ability to sing. Now I have no use to him anymore. I'm his enemy though. But it looked as if you were injured. Thought I could at least try humming to heal you. It doesn't matter if I heal as long as I can help. You say you can't sing? Long ago, when I was still human, I saw a singer like he once. The singer I saw at that time sang like she was drunk with happiness. Could never imagine someone with a face as dark as yours singing like she did. Seems that joy is strength. What do you mean? Never mind, it's not important. It appears I've lived too long, forget everything I've said. <laughs> joy is strength. Yes, that makes sense. Now that you mention it, the only reason I used to sing is because I enjoyed it. And the quest is clear. Beauty of flawless blades tracing the air. And of course, the one that looks different has any Lord Medal in it. Because obviously. Wow, that cost me hardly any health at all. The global level is actually pretty high, I guess, or it's new equipment. Anyway, let's go to the next quest. Oh, that was enough grinding. I don't think there's anything interesting over there. Oh yeah, this quest. <laughs> I immediately remember what's happening. It's no use, it's hopeless. It's wrong, adventures, bags are so heavy you can walk no further. Okay, and Yuja usually doesn't take on jobs like that, so you'll carry the old lady instead! <laughs> okay, I see I've been able to make it all this way. They'll give you this gold as a token of my gratitude. It's 10,000 gold! Q thinks that's too much, it's fine, it's fine, I want you to take it. Okay, if, if you insist. Okay. Should be fine the rest of the way. And then she runs off. She can carry those bags, she's fine. Something strange about that money. 
Money trouble. Okay, welcome. You are despair, the lady despair. Your, your curse will make you despair. Are the bags you carried earlier, were they heavy? Suppose your reward was even heavier. The gold you received was cursed gold. The more that gold you carry, the stronger I become. Of course, you can spend it if you want, but can you do it in time? You've got 30 seconds. Of course, we could spend it all just on resets, but there's actually stuff to do with the gold. The gold you received was cursed, you gotta spend as much as possible. Apparently, it's no longer cursed once we spend it. Or we're just spreading it around to people. Arena 7 is a treacherous one. Someone is treacherous. Yeah, the time goddess is equally treacherous. Ah! The time goddess hit him. It's quite the curse, and that's what you get for being greedy. Okay, detective sanctuary, and Kook still can't sing. Yuji can sing as well as everyone. Anyone. He's strong and awesome, and has negative points. Let's use Kook's song instead. And even though Kook can't sing, the goddess statue record. Er, goddess robot, not statue. Recorded it. Oh! Recorded your singing cue. Now you don't need to sing. Except, um... The replay function broke. It, it manipulated a huge amount of time stream and was too great for the machine to handle. And it helps that she could play it once. Okay, the Venus 7 is here. Please use as much of your money as you can. There is a title for just running in with no money spent and winning. But, um, I probably don't have the global level to do that. I came back once my global level was, like, 80, and just, like, trashed him. Okay, eat, shop, whatever, don't forget to spend. A mysterious facility can be found there. Lack of information prevents you from telling more. Alright, get rid of the cursed money. If I could level up too, that would be nice. Okay, you want, you want to go to the casino? Only those who are chosen can enter. For example, customers who buy one of your great pots. Put it on display and throw it all when it's done. Alright, there's Jumbo Fresh Bread for a thousand Gs. You can bring it down here. And she's like, good day, this is an orphanage. You take care of children who have lost their parents to fight them gods. Okay, the monsters have been active, so you really make it to the villages, and it's harder and harder to get your hands on any food. And now the Y button is give bread. You don't mind? Don't worry about it, go on, eat. It's delicious! And she wants bread next. I believe only one of them lights up at a time for that. So you can buy another jumbo fresh bread. You can give more bread. Okay, and now the demon girl is too hungry. I gotta level up too. Which of course makes my money go back up. Okay, don't mind that you're a demon. It's good to be alive, because now you have bread. And bread is pretty great. Especially when it's jumbo and fresh. I guess. Something like that. Yep. Bread just smells good. And we're, we're so kind. And Mr. Shiro, he's hungry too. <laughs> yeah, that encounter is worth 120 G. Whoa! Jumbo fresh bread! It's proper noun, apparently. So, you know, we, we, we do this a few times. I feel like they made this event a little excessive. It's not like you're gonna run out of money trying to run yourself out of money. Except for when you succeed. And then you don't need money anymore. Oh, we're greater than evil. That's nice. Just as we've been carrying bread back and forth. Or, well, forth. Because we don't have bread on the way back. Yeah, I, I don't like this quest very much. Yeah, yeah, of course it's okay. Yep, 
Seriously. I'll give you bread that costs a thousand G. You, you can go last. Well, it's your turn. Yep. Eat up. This is great. Oh, we need bread for the teacher, too. Okay, resets are 300 G now. Huh? Yep, this is for you. You're hungry, aren't you? Thank you very much. We're a true hero! We helped an orphanage! Now, buy one bread for me. And go finish the quest. Come now, let me see. You can't be! You're the most wasteful spender ever! How in the world do you support yourself? Wait another three seconds, go earn some money. Now you say? No, right. Perhaps I'm the one who's in despair this time. Yes, taste it. Again, okay. curse spell apparently limits her damage, but once it ends, we deal massive damage again. And you're in despair. Thank you for despair. Wow, it's like Super Dongan Ranka. Thank you for all the despair. Job well done. Unbelievable to think that the Venus 7 would go so far as to curse my energy source. They've proved themselves terrifying in more ways than one. I'm sorry about not being able to sing. We'll have to deal with more sanctuaries another way. Any ideas? There must be something, right? But you know, I'd love to hear you sing again. What do you mean by that? Hey, what about what? You just said you'd love to hear me sing. No, I didn't. You did! I heard you! <laughs> Oh well, no, that's not what I meant. It really didn't mean anything. Your heart rate is ascending rapidly, Yuja. Whatever that may indicate. On another note, I detect the presence of other members of the Venus 7 on this continent. Are you ready? Okay. Suppose the world might get itself destroyed if I don't. The more of this Venus 7 I go after, the more likely I am to meet the Dark Goddess. And our battle with the Lady of the Spare took us off course a bit. It provides that we return south and take the route that heads east. It's literally knock sense back into her. Only my voice shakes, filled with spirit, as I marvel at my bright destiny. Oh, we, we didn't get into the casino. I think that's the other title. But if you go to the casino, you're probably not spending all the money on the bread. And I wanted to do the orphanage quest instead. But now we can go to the casino for no reason. And much like in Pokemon, you need to exchange your real money for casino money, and then you use the slot machines, and then you get stuff. It's a death pipe, it's a pole arm, and it smells like death, and this is a helmet, and I'm not going to do it. Alright, so next would be this direction. Ah, I only did two quests this time. But I don't think I have time for another. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember what quest this is. Just from looking at the map or anything. But I'm, I'm gonna play it safe here. So uh, yeah, in the next part, more of the Venus 7. We've, we've eliminated two of them, so there are five left. Yeah. See ya!